Hello and welcome to Nubifier Competition. I love cars and I love car racing. I can't afford to kill myself and I can't afford to pay for racing, so I've built racing in my basement. There's a Monster Tech MTX base, a Fnatic DD1 with a wheel hub and a sparkle wheel, a gated shifter, suspended pedals, handbrakes on a Valve Index VR. I usually sit down, choose a car, choose a track and set a lap goal. This is the fun of sim, you get to test stuff out. Today my goal is below 2 minutes for a flying lap at Bathurst with a car that's never designed to run here, however it should be doable because the car is just that strong. The Fnatic Direct Drive DD1 can produce instantaneous brute torque or replicate the road's feel to include the tiny little bumps in the road or can punish you brutally when you ride the rumble strips. The Monster Tech MTX rig is adjustable which allows me to quickly move the wheel and shifter into the correct position so when I reach out in VR, the wheel feels like where it should be which seals the immersion. Having the gated shifter allows me to get even closer to the real drive. Using it compared to the paddles won't help your lap times but eventually you get used to it and it's just more fun. The first lap was 228, lots of time to make up. This is going to be so hard to say. The XJR9 LM was a variant of the XJR9 built to compete in the 24 hours of Le Mans. It has a 7 liter V12, which is a 427 for you Americans, generating 750 horsepower and 611 foot pounds of torque in a car that weighed less than 900 kilograms, which is below 2,000 pounds. Top speed was over 245 miles an hour, otherwise known as 400 kilometers an hour. This was depending on the gearing, and even though this is just a simulation, the performance difference is easily apparent. I'll never get to drive one in real life, but in VR, the sim lets me drive whatever car for as long as I want. Pick your month, pick your time of day, pick the weather, and challenge yourself with a car and track. My next lap was 2 minutes and 3 seconds, then 2 minutes and 2 seconds, and 2 minutes and 1 second. As I got warmed up, I made fewer mistakes, braked a little later than usual, and relied more on the car's aerodynamics for grip. Lap 5 was fine. Lap 6 was disappointing, so I focused and pushed towards my goal of below 2 minutes. I enjoy driving Bathurst because of the huge changes in elevation and the blind drop that unsettles the rear end of your car. The downhill corners push the car faster and faster, ending up on a flat out straightaway. It's fun in any car and challenging, but specifically fun in something so strong with such great aero. Now that I've tried VR, I can't play on monitors anymore. I've visited other people who have sim, they use monitors. It's not the same and if you have the chance to test VR, do it. There it is, a 159.960. I know I can shave more, but I don't want to bore you. I hope you've enjoyed the distraction from Star Citizen. And of course, I would love for you to share the video with others and ask any questions that you may have. Drive saucy.